process of setup creation has been streamlined with a new option to create additional setups during feature recognition. Using the new feature wizard and selecting Extract with Feature Recognition, a new button becomes enabled allowing quick access to setup generation. By allowing the creation of setups during feature creation, this greatly reduces the overall programming time of your parts. In this particular example we've got a mold plate solid and we wish to go ahead and program all of the features. Note we have a series of features on the top set up, but we also have a series of pockets positioned around the outside of the part as well. We also have a series of holes, and these have already been pre-programmed from the bottom, and we're using that stock as the basis at the beginning of this component. So, to create a new feature, I'm just going to go to the New Feature Wizard. I'm going to choose Pocket. And note at the moment we can see we've got this new button here that's Create New Setup, but it's currently greyed out. By checking the Extract with Feature Recognition, this button becomes enabled. In this particular instance, if we're cutting features from this top setup, we don't need to create a new setup. So let's go ahead and program these first features. I'm going to create a pocket. I'm going to use the Automatic Recognition. I'm going to say Select All. I'm going to say Finish. I'm going to go to a side operation. Choose Next. This time I'm going to say Select Side Surfaces. And in this case I want to grab all of these uh, dark red surfaces, so I'm going to go to my Edit, Select by Colour or Type, add those in, and say Finish. Then we have the yellow surfaces, in this case we've got two different heights, so I'm going to select the outer surfaces first of all, choose Next, add those in, Next again, and in this case I'm going to change the bottom position to be that top face there and say finish and then once more again choosing next selecting side surfaces and again using that same tool to select by colour or type adding those in and then just changing the top position to be that surface there so I've now created my features from that top face we can preview this in a 3D simulation. And there's our component so far. So now we want to do is machine these side pocket regions. So in the past we would have had to go into the setup, edit this and create a new one. In this case I'm going to go straight through the new feature wizard and create each of the setups in turn. So in this case I'm going to do pocket, create a new setup, choose next, I'm going to align to part geometry and in this case I'm going to use the horizontal surface and you can see the z-axis is now flipped. Choose next again. I've got additional alignment options. I can also, if I wish to, I can shift the axis. So in this case I might want to move the y position and grab in this case, I'm just going to grab the corner point to shift that axis over. I can say finish. I've got a new setup and I can go ahead with the feature recognition, in this case using automatic recognition, to find my pocket. Let's repeat this process for the other setup. So again, orientating round, aligning to part geometry, in this case this face. This time I'm going to move the X position. Again, grabbing a corner point, just give me that defined face. Say finish. And then again doing my automatic recognition to find that pocket. So the final one, again, create setup on this face. So I'm going to select my horizontal surface, choose next, again positioning the Y location, say finish, and again go through the same steps to recognize that pocket. I've now created my series of five axis features. I can then do a machine simulation, in this case I'm using a Haas UMC 750 machine. There's my component loaded and if I run through the machining sequence we can see the features from the top setup and then we can see the various indexing for each of the setups to finish my part.